Hello everybody and welcome to this week's issue of Toronto Performance. The performance tool of the week for this issue is the floor press, which is basically a regular bench press that's done on the floor. So there are several reasons why you may want to choose a floor press as opposed to a bench press uh, for your performance needs. And some of the reasons are going to be as follows. Number one, uh, when you're on the floor, you can have either legs long or a legs short position. So when the legs are long, lying on the floor, we have a natural propensity to sort of increase or have a greater uh, anterior tilt of the fourth tilt of the pelvis. In other words, we have that sort of greater arch in the low back and there's a lot more space between the back and the floor than when the legs are short or even when you're on a, uh, a traditional bench press. So that can be helpful because it can be a good cue for the athlete or individual to really engage an interior core, sort of shorten up that position between the ribs and the pelvis, get really tight in here, which will help to protect the spine and also eliminate rib flare, which you might see sometimes in pressing, and that can help as a good transfer over to the actual bench press later on. Also, when the floor pressing legs are short, it can be a really effective means of teaching athletes, individuals, how to use the floor to produce upper body force. So when you're on the ground, in the floor press, you perform a hip extension action or a glute bridge action that helps you to, to push the weight up. And a lot of coaches don't like the bench press for performance. They think that uh, you know it's useless unless you have a sport where an athlete's going to be on their back. But some sports do require that. You know, for some some martial arts or wrestling, for example, you have athletes who are going to be on their back, and the floor press can be a good way to cement that sort of technique of using the floor to produce force in the upper body, to kind of push or to control or jostle your opponent um, if they're, if they're on, on top of you. So it can be effective for that, right? Right tool, right job sort of thing. So the foot press is great for those reasons. Also, shoulder health. Guys who don't have great shoulder health, who don't like to get uh, too deep in range of motion, the shoulders don't like it, or perhaps you've got guys who are over rowers tend to have that sort of um, uh, forward position of the, of the neural head where the elbows go retroverted when they get behind the rib cage, they kind of come forward there. The floor is a great way to eliminate that because you have to stop at the floor. So it helps to correct some of those faulty shoulder mechanics when you go too deep. Also, we don't have the uh, stressing as much of the joint capsule here. Uh, there's a lot of argument with the bench press that when you teach it, it's a touch and go lift, so to the chest and off, that uh, the shoulder capsule, the joint capsule sort of stretches. And it, there's a lot of sort of long-term overuse damage that can occur because of that. With the floor press, you don't have to worry about that. You just go to the floor. Can't get too deep once again, and you can push up, and there's a little bit less stress on the capsule that way. But uh, more so than that, you also can't get that plyometric or uh, eccentric sort of kinetic energy assistance that you get in a regular bench. You get when you go nice and deep. It doesn't happen on the floor, so the lats and the rhomboids can't assist in stabilizing that motion uh, too much. There's a lot more focus on the pressing muscle, the triceps, the shoulders, and the uh, and the pecs. And so it's great to keep tension on those guys and get them to be a little bit more efficient in the press. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate them for you, the, the three different forms, legs long, legs short, and using the hips to push. And give the four a try in your programs and, and see how you like it, see uh, the kind of benefits that you can get from it as opposed to regular bench press. As a final note, I also think that the core press is great because it kind of puts you in a more athletic position for pushing. Most of the time in a sport or if you're in the field, you're pushing people you know, with your hands all the way back here at the other bench press, you're mostly going to have more of a sort of 90 degree angle. So it's a bit more functional from an athletic standpoint. So give it a try, see what's up. Until next time.